Yo, what's going on YouTube family? Spence Locks here. And yo, before I even start the video, smash me a like on the video right now, guys. I really appreciate it. We are on a 7-0 run since Saturday on our VIP picks. And so I would really appreciate it if you guys spam this video, blow it up, toss a like, drop me a comment. If you don't have any comment to say, just, just comment the word locks. It helps me with the algorithm. I'm cooking up this video for you guys uh, while the Giants and Bengals are playing right now. I'm getting it out to you guys early. I'm locked in. I'm dialed in. I'm on a 7-0 run with a lot of you guys are on that same 7-0 run with me as well uh, because I gave you guys a free three-day pass to my VIP. Uh, so if you haven't taken advantage of the, th uh, the three-day pass yet, you haven't redeemed it yet, uh, you can text me locks. I'll put the number in the description, my phone number. If you text me locks to my phone number, I'll send you a free three-day pass. A lot of you guys took advantage of it. And I'm so happy that, uh, you know, you got on this weekend while I'm super hot right now. So I'm getting this video out to you guys early. Um, it's Sunday night. Usually I do it like Monday morning, but I already cooked. I already got the locks. Um, I'm sending them out to my VIP clients right after this video. So, you know, if you're not on my VIP and you want to lock in with me, either get the three-day pass or just hit the link in the description of the video and I'll get on for a week, a month, or I still have some season passes available on my winnable guys. Uh, it's basically five months until the Super Bowl, all access college football and NFL. You get five months left, uh, and it's a pretty good deal. I get a few of those left, but um, I appreciate you guys for uh, you know locking in with me this weekend. Uh, let's talk about it real quick before we get into the uh, Jets versus Bills game on Monday Night Football. So we started off with Thursday night. Now, look, I can't share my screen because my computer camera isn't allowing me to share my screen and I can't reset my PC because I have like tools running that I don't want to reset it, but I'm just going to tell you guys how we did. So uh, we started off with Thursday night football uh, and we had uh, the 49ers versus the Seahawks. We had the total over 47 and a half and we cashed that on Thursday. Now Friday was kind of rough. Friday we had uh, college football three games and I had a parlay for you guys with Maryland on the spread uh, to cover and they were the favorite. And then I had UNLV. Uh, and so Maryland was terrible. They shit the bed. UNLV ended up cashing, but since they were in a parlay, we ended up losing on Friday. But we came back very strong on Saturday. We went 3-0 and on three of our best bets for Saturday. We cashed with the Mizzou Tigers, minus 27 over UMass. We cashed with the Iowa Hawkeyes money line over Washington. And we also cashed on Ohio State versus Oregon, total over 53 and a half points, cashed with that. And in NFL today, we also went 3-0 and on three of our picks. And we had Chargers uh, minus two and a half. They ended up beating the Broncos. We had the total over 24 and a half points for the Falcons total points, ended up cashing that as well early. And then we had total over 52 and a half for the Lions and the Cowboys. Even though the Cowboys barely put up any points, the Lions, they got it done and we cashed that. So now we're, and I also cashed on the free pick as well. I sent you guys out a free play on my winnable. Like I said, if you're not subscribed for my free three day pass or you're not on my VIP, at least subscribe to my free subscription. The, the link is in the description. It's winnable.com slash Spence Locks. But I put up a three man parlay for player props on sleeper, $10 to win 40. We cashed that in the third quarter. So I'm on a 7-0 and run right now, guys. And I don't think I've ever been on a 7-0 and run. I know I was doing crazy numbers in NBA. I was on a 5-0 and run, 6-0 and run. But 7-0 and run is is pretty wild. And, and I'm so excited that a lot of you guys got on my VIP for this weekend and hopefully made money. So now you can reinvest and keep making money with me. I wanted to show you guys uh, what I was about, that I have good locks, that I study these games. I put in hours to get you guys the best picks and hopefully you guys appreciate it. I know I made a lot of you guys some good money this weekend and that makes me happy. Obviously, I made a ton of money this weekend too on the picks. And so we're gonna get into today's game or tomorrow's game rather, but I'm getting you guys the video early. So we got the Bills and they're traveling to play the Jets in the Meadowlands. Um, it's a prime time game. And you guys know how these games are, uh, especially on Monday and Thursday night football. Look, there's only one game on, right? So <laughs> unlike college football where there's fucking 100 games on and NFL Sunday where there's like 10 games on, right? There's only one game. So you got to be really careful because 
Vegas doesn't have a lot of phone calls to make. They got to make one phone call. They need to make one phone call. And, um, you know, usually you'll see these Thursday, Monday primetime games. They get a little suspect. And I really do. I'm telling you guys, like, uh, the NFL in particular is, is entertainment purposes for the most part. Uh, a lot of these games are scripted. Yeah, but if you know, you know the script and you know how to play it, then you're going to cash just like we've been cashing, even though, like, I know what we're up against. I know we're up against sports books and casinos in Vegas that are, you know, worth millions and millions of dollars. So you got to know what you're up against. You got to know how to play it. Um, and I know we're going to play this game right. Uh, so, you know, the Jets and the Bills, uh, the Jets coming off their game in London, they just fired their head coach, as a lot of you guys know, uh, <laughs> after that London game. <clears throat> And uh, you saw, like, recently Aaron Rodgers was kind of beefing a little bit with the head coach. So maybe, you know, that's a good thing for the Jets now. They get a fresh start. They get something to, uh, you know, fire them up, something to go out and win for. Aaron Rodgers maybe feels like he kind of has a little bit more control, kind of able to lead the team a little bit. Uh, and, and statistically and historically over time, if you guys even care about, like, <clears throat> the stats, usually teams, you know, obviously when they fire their head coach, they're not doing very well. And after they fire the head coach, they do, you know, 12 percent better. Um, and this is just take it with a grain of salt, take it for as it is. But usually when they get a, a new coach, they get a new uh, a new mental focus and they got a lot to play for now. And the problem for the Jets, it hasn't been their defense. It's really more or less been their offense. Uh, they've also released their offensive coordinator. So they're getting going through a, a lot of switches, a lot of changes um, with new management. But like I said, I think that that favors them in this situation. The, the Bills, on the other hand, they're struggling offensively. They're averaging only 5.5 yards per play against opponents who allow 5.8 yards per play. So the Bills' defense, not too great. Um, but, you know, the Bills' offense, they're third in points per game, and they're third in pass, 14th in the run. So the Bills are better at passing than they are running. Obviously, we got Josh Allen. Uh, he's pretty talented himself, but he's kind of dealing with a little bit of concussion issues and also a little bit of ankle issues. I still think he'll come out and perform. Aaron Rodgers as well, questionable, but he's going to obviously play. I don't know if you guys know, but what do you guys know about, about Perk Rodgers? I know you guys may have seen the TikTok videos. You know, Aaron Rodgers, oftentimes when he's dealing with injuries um, in his knee, he even says it openly, like, you know, Doc took him aside. He popped a Percocet. He came out, started slinging the ball. So I think with new management, with Perk Rogers potentially coming out to play at home, Jets hungry for a win. Jets got new management. Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, I didn't tell you guys that the public is all over the Buffalo Bills. Red flag alert. The public is all over the Buffalo Bills. And it's crazy because... You know, the Buffalo Bills started off really hot. I believe they're 3-0. They played dog shit teams. They played Miami Dolphins without Tua as their quarterback. You know, they beat up on the Arizona Cardinals. And they beat one other shitty team. Um, I forget who, but uh, perhaps the Bengals. Um, anyways, they haven't played any good teams. Um, and the Jets, you know, they could be a lot better than they are. To be honest, they lost uh, basically, I think, last week. They lost a, a game winner to a missed field goal. And they've just had some unfortunate things. Aaron Rodgers hasn't really heated up yet. And I think with the firing of the head coach and Perk Rodgers coming back out here, like I said, at home, everybody's the public and everybody is on the bills. Red flag alert. Like I said, like Vegas doesn't want to pay money, millions of dollars to everybody. So it's like my VIP will have the best bets for the night. I've been going crazy with uh, totals over and unders, to be honest, recently. Um, I've been getting a lot of wins with those. Uh, a lot of my 7-0 and wins were, uh, a good amount of them were playing on the totals. Uh, the total for this game is set at uh, 40 and a half. Some books are 41. Um, but yeah, if I was going to say it, well, I'm not going to say it because these are for my VIP clients. With, you know. Don't even feel some type of way if you're not a VIP client because you can get three days for free. If you already used your three days, you should have made money and you should buy my VIP, whether it's a week, a month, or a free, uh, a full season. Uh, the spread for the game now is actually at one and a half. Um, so it's been moving between two and a half, one and a half. Um, so, yeah, and then the money line is, is 
is plus 100 right now for the Jets and minus 116 for the Buffalo Bills. Like I told you guys, all the money's on the Bills. 80 per six, 86 percent of the money and 84 percent of the bets are on the Buffalo Bills. Red flag alert, like I told you guys uh, before. Uh, but take that information as you will. Um, James Cook, questionable for the Bills. And obviously, a lot of the Bills wide receivers like Shakir and some others are either out of the game or questionable as well. Like the Bills have a ton of injuries. Both teams have injuries, but the Bills have a ton of injuries, especially on offense. And their defense isn't really great, which is also, you know, a, a red flag for the Bills. Um, James Cook. I mean, if he plays, he's not going to be 100% healthy. And, you know, he was cooking. Like I said, he was cooking. They're facing the Jets. The Jets only give up 4.8 yards per play on average. They have a really strong defense. And if Aaron Rodgers can heat up, then they got a, an offense and a defense with a new offensive lineup, coordinator, head coach. Um, we might have a recipe for Aaron Rodgers, Perk Rodgers, to go crazy. Like I told you guys, the public's all over Buffalo on top of that, which makes me feel even better about it. And Josh Allen having a concussion and ankle issues and most of their team being injured doesn't make it any better for the Bills. The 3-0 and start, like I told you guys, it was against dog shit teams. It's not impressive. And the Jets kind of had some bad beats and bad management. So take it is as, it, as you will. I'm going to go over some player props. I can't show you them on the screen, but these are just some leans that I like. I know some of you guys like player props. Me personally, like I tell you guys all the time, I'm trying to educate you throughout these videos. Player props, especially the apps like Better, Prize Picks, Chalkboard Sleeper, all these apps, Underdog. These apps, you will not make money on these apps. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Like, unless you're doing two mans or maybe a three man, if you're doing four man, five man, six man, or even more <laughs> players per slip, you will burn your money. You will not make money. You will lose all of your money. So I tell you guys, like, this channel, these videos I make, it's to educate you and hopefully make you a better sports better as well as give you information. Uh, but like I say, if you're gonna do player prop slips, try to just do a two man, bro. Like, like I said, just just do a two man. Like, or, or if you do it on a sports book, you can just do single entries. Like, uh, but no more than a two or a three man. And the reason is, it's like players are inconsistent. Like, and also with Vegas. It's just like we saw with Jordan Mason during the 49ers versus the Seahawks game. That guy was cooking, bro, and Vegas made the phone call and took him out of the game. And you know what they even did, which is crazier, is he like was already at 60-something rushing yards or, or, or something crazy already off the rip. He gets injured, right? He comes back out, and he plays one play, and then he goes back to the sideline. So they don't have to void anybody's slip because he was injured, because he came out and played one more play. And if you don't think the NFL is rigged after that, then look at the Patrick Mahomes taking a five-yard loss after every single time he tried to knee the ball against uh, the Falcons to win that game. He, everybody had his rushing yards over. Patrick Mahomes sinks and goes five yards negative for three plays in a row. It chalks everybody's slip. If you don't think that's you know enough to tell you that the NFL is rigged, go back to the Dallas Cowboys versus... I forget who they played. Maybe it was the Giants. I forget. Brandon Aubrey making 50, 60-yard field goals, and then he misses a 30-yard field goal. Everybody has the Cowboys on the spread. Everybody chalks because they win by five and not five and a half. I'll tell you for a, a fucking fact, professional sports, especially the NFL, is entertainment. We got Taylor Swift. We got Travis Kelsey. That whole shit in the Super Bowl where your boy made $12,000 because I knew they weren't going to let Taylor Swift lose. I'm going to tell you guys this shit's all rigged and all scripted, and it's all about money. So if you know how the money moves, if you know how the odds makers and the books think, you know how Vegas is going to make that call, and you already know what they're going to call, then you're good. And if you don't know what they're going to call, just listen to me. I'm a, I know. Like, If anybody knows, I know. Or I have a better understanding than a lot of people uh, just because I'm not – thinking like the public. Never think like the public, right? Anyways, um, yeah, that's that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, we had a great week. Thank you to everybody that, that subscribed uh, to the VIP and got the free three-day pass. Or if you are already one of my clients that was already paying for VIP picks, I appreciate you so much. We're going to go over some player props real quick, though. I almost forgot. Alan Lazard, wide receiver um, for the Bills. Yeah, um, I don't even know, bro. Um, but anyways, receiving yards. 
<laughs> his line's at 34 and a half. Last game he did 34 against the Vikings. Uh, the game before that he did 58. The game before that he did 48. I look for him. I'm the over. I'm leaning. These are all leans. These are not official locks. Like I told you guys about player props. Uh, you know, player props are player props. Have fun with them. Sprinkle a little bit of money on the player prop parlays on some of these apps. But, yo, do not – like, you will not be a professional or a profitable – not professional. Fuck up being a professional. You'll never be a profitable sports better if you're just spamming player props. Because, like I said, Vegas calls them. They take them out of the game. You would rather trust the team than you would one player, right? And the best sports bettors in the game, the people that are making money, are doing straight bets, not parlays. I know you guys love parlays, but just trust me on this. Even if you make $10, $15, $20, $30, dollars, right, on a straight bet, take that profit, build your bankroll. It's hard enough sometimes to even win one straight bet. You know what I mean? It's crazy to win, to expect to win a, a four, five, six, seven leg parlay i know the payout's crazy but if you think about it by the time you hit one of those payouts you've already lost and spent the money that you would already have made and i'm telling you i just learned from people that are better than me at this shit they tell me that shit take straight bets real sports betters aren't doing parlays and they aren't doing player props i do them because i enjoy player props i don't throw more money on player props than i do my sports book bets or my best bets I just have fun with them because I like to do them while I'm watching the game. You know, kind of like I'm eating a steak and then I'm, I'm, I'm attacking some, like, mac and cheese. That's the player props type of thing. You know what I mean? Anyways, back to uh, some props. Tyler Conklin uh, for the Jets. I like him on receptions. He's at three and a half. He hit six last game, hit four the game before, hit five the game before that. I like Josh Allen, of course, on the rushing yards. He did 54 last game, the other game before that against Ravens, he only did 21. But the game before that against Jacksonville, he did uh, 44. I always like Josh Allen on the rush. And if James Cook isn't healthy, then I like him even more. Kean Coleman, wide receiver for the Jets. I mean, for the for the Bills, I like him over on receiving yards. His line's at 35 and a half. He put up 49 last game against Houston. And then he put up 51 the game before that against the Ravens, excuse me. Um, so I like him as well uh, the bills are beat up the bills like Shakira is gone so there's gonna have to be some bills receivers that step up a lot and they're probably gonna try and take out wide receiver ones so look for wide receiver two wide receiver three to kind of get a, uh, some good action like I told you guys uh, I appreciate you guys for showing me love I appreciate you guys for believing in me on the picks I know that I made a, a lot of you guys a lot of money this weekend that's what I'm here for thanks so much for the love guys see you in the next one Spence Locks. Oh.